So gabapentin is a very versatile medication. It's a very safe medication. It's not easy to overdose on gabapentin, in part because as you take more and more, the absorption is a little bit more slow with a higher dose. So people are often afraid because the doses of gabapentin can go up to 3,000 milligrams, and it sounds like a lot, but the reality is, is that um, it, it's really safe up to 3,000 and even more milligrams a day. Um, gabapentin works great for things like anxiety, insomnia, and it works well for neuropathic pain. So neuropathic pain, nerve pain, um, examples of that include if you have sciatica, so if you have a pinched nerve from a disc that's out of place in your lower back, people often have that feeling of pain radiating down their, their butt, the back of their leg, and even into their foot, that's sciatica. And so that is considered nerve pain because you're experiencing the sensation and the pain along that nerve root. Other examples of neuropathy include, or neuropathic pain include diabetic neuropathy, um, even heavy alcohol use over a long period of time can cause neuropathy. That kind of neuropathy can be found often in all four extremities and it's numbness, tingling, and pain frequently. So gabapentin treats anxiety, it treats insomnia, it treats neuropathic pain. It also treats alcohol withdrawal very well, independent of gabapentin working for those four indications. Additionally, it plays a role in reducing craving in alcohol use disorder. And in fact, there are several studies in the last five to 10 years that have looked at gabapentin in dosages ranging from 900 milligrams a day to 1800 milligrams a day and even higher. And it seems once we hit about 1800 milligrams a day and higher, there's a significant reduction in alcohol use. The reason that it works as well as it does in those higher doses is that a lot of people that we see at Rhea Health have disrupted sleep. So if you're drinking to go to sleep, a lot of people do, that you actually start to have alcohol withdrawal about four hours after you fall asleep. And alcohol withdrawal will wake you up, you'll feel unrested, you'll often wake up with panic attack, anxiety, sweating, shaking, um, hard to go back to sleep. And so if you take gabapentin at bedtime before, you have that withdrawal, it actually not only will it help you fall asleep, but it'll help you stay asleep because it's gonna treat those alcohol withdrawal symptoms. So what people describe is when they find the right dose, and it can really range from 300 milligrams to 1200 milligrams at bedtime, that they're get, getting to sleep more easily and they're staying asleep. Um, and then when they wake up, less likely to have hangover or withdrawal symptoms in the morning. And as we know, a lot of people drink in the morning to alleviate hangover withdrawal symptoms. Um, so in that scenario, when I see a patient who drinks most days and they try to confine their drinking to the evenings, but they will say on the weekends, they'll start drinking earlier or sometimes during the week, if they wake up um, with severe nausea, severe anxiety, shaky, sweaty, et cetera, they will treat their alcohol withdrawal with alcohol. And frankly, it works. But um, gabapentin is a more elegant way to treat your alcohol withdrawal symptoms in the morning. So really gabapentin is a very versatile medication. On paper, it's not FDA approved, quote unquote, but that really has more to do with FDA's regulatory process and how drugs get FDA approved. There's a lot of research that's been done that demonstrates that it is useful in treating alcohol use disorder. For expert support on medication-assisted treatment for alcohol use disorder, visit riahealth.com.